the urban steel from Canberra Van, man. You know it makes sense. The conspiracy free zone. Hello. I'm on the other side of the garage to make a change while I've been in that sweat box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get this van ready for uh, uh, winter. Um, I'm going to start off with the solar first. Um, to get that because it does my van does struggle i mean i've not got a lot of uh solar power as in panels there so uh, i'm going to work on that to, to sort of maximize um the efficiency so to speak over the winter months um even though it's a bright sunny hot day now um fast forward a couple of months and it's going to be it's not going to be like that anymore so um might as well do it now eh? um and i'll bring you along right i'll uh I'll see you in a sec. Oh yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this uh, solar charge controller. Now, this has been pretty good. I mean, it's it's not missed a beat, but uh, because it's less effective um, um, in the winter months, um, I'm going to upgrade it to uh, a better one. Because um, I think that one's called a PWM, and the one I'm going to upgrade it to is an MPPT. Um, I did know before this video what they both sta stood for, um, what, what the MPP stands for and PWM stands for. But uh, alas, I've forgotten, but you all know that anyway. Um, you know uh, what I'm trying to get at. Yes, so the batteries are fully uh, fully charged. Um, it's sort of regulating, it's sort of going up and down now. So, uh, right, um, I'm going to strip that back and install the new controller. Um, uh tools needed um i have got a uh electric screwdriver and uh just a tiny little you know like it's more like a um a watch straps and that but it's got tiny little uh phillips head um bits what go on it so uh yeah just something like that i mean it's not you don't need vast amounts of tools to change that it's a simple job uh famous last words but uh yeah, I'll bring you back in a sec. Hello, this is what I'm going to, let's, well, let me get it the right way up. This is what I'm going to change it for. Um, that's, uh, I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. I'm just going to say EP Ever. I don't know if it stands for something. It's a uh, Tracer, Tracer AN Series MPPP, MPPT charge controller. Uh, yes, let me give you a brief, uh, right, uh, what does it say about it? Um, electronic protections, PV short circuit protection, PV over circuit protection, PV reverse polar polarity protection, battery over voltage protection, battery over, over discharge protection, battery reverse polarity protection, battery overheating protection, goes on load short circuit protection and load overload protection controller overheating protection it's got my back then right features advanced mp mppt controller control technology high tracking efficiency efficiency no less than 95 percent maximum conversion efficiency 98 percent common negative design support lead acid and lithium batteries multi-load work modes extensive electronic protection information inform uh, sorry informative backlight lcd rs485 communication what else does it say um i think uh, no it actually it does it says max pv voltage 100 volts max pv input 130 watts 12 volts 260 watts 24 volts and uh obviously made in china all right so um let's get it out of the box i don't know if anybody wants uh that is how the box comes i paid for this this is not like some sort of like paid uh, promotion um all right you get a manual which obviously I'm going to read back to front, upside down. But it looks quite extensive. 
really I should read it but uh, yeah that ain't gonna happen and uh, you get the unit so and that is the unit there and I'm gonna have that bit of a tight fit there but it is what it is yeah I'm gonna have that up there actually slimmer anyway all right so that's that and uh, I'll bring you bring you back uh, when my hair is nice and curly and I've electrocuted myself right <laughs> I'll see you in a sec when I when I wired that up I obviously put a fuse in going from the battery so you've got a, a blade I think it's a blade fuse I can't remember the uh, amp rating on that but it put, it's in line with that anyway but uh, I've got one there and then I've obviously got one uh, where the batteries are under there so I've got um, two fuses I know it's probably a bit overkill but uh, it's to be on the safe side eh? Um, right here goes Hello, I was uh, I was just watching uh, I was having a tea break really but I was just watching the TV for a bit and it had uh, it's one of these restoration programs and uh, it's probably staged a lot you know and um, these two blokes um, met this old, old fella the old soldier and uh, he was chucking out, he was going to the dump and he was uh, chucking out some old uh, like 70s chairs and uh, an old uh, uh, coal storage metal container thing and um, what was the other thing? Hold on. Something else anyway, right? So they've done it all up and then they knock back at his door and uh, like in a few months later or something and they knock back at his door and say, this is what you chucked out, this is the profit, right? And uh, it, it was a right old soldier, right? You know, flat cap and all that, you know, a bit of a walking stick. And, uh, you know, he's got a couple of uh, Werther's Originals in his pocket. But it just shows you that generation is sadly lacking in this society now, right? He was so excited. They made £75 profit, right? Which is, it is a lot of money, but um, in the scale of things, it's, it's not a great deal, is it? You know, for free items they salvaged and sold on, right? But he, this this old boy was so made up about uh, getting this seventy five pounds, and they said to him, "What, what are you going to do for it, it's Albert, or whatever his name was? Right? What are you going to do with the money, Albert? You know, seventy five quid. Instead of saying I'm going to treat myself and um, you know go for a meal or you know whatever, he said I'm going to donate it to the um, air ambulance service. Just wouldn't happen nowadays, would it? It just wouldn't happen. That's that older man." or woman mentality you know he got saying for nothing pass it on you know it, it you know puts a little bleeding shiver down your spine do you know what i mean like uh hairs on the back of your neck sort of stand up uh lovely that was lovely to see sort of made my day but that's enough of me waffling back to the um no, i'm gonna turn that tv off back to it all right see you in a sec right that's all uh that's all wired up obviously i've got to tidy up um all this i've got to cut a slit in it because uh, I don't want these wires that on the kink, you know, I want them going straight down. But uh, that's all right for temporary measures until I get a Stanley blade and cut that bit of carpet, tuck it all in, make it nice and neat. Um, what are you doing there? You can bug off. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that seems to be working all right. Um, I haven't got a clue what it's doing, flicking through all the menus, but um, yeah, it seems to be working, so uh, yeah. Yeah, um, no idea what he's doing, but uh, <laughs> I've got some interesting bedtime reading to get on with. So uh, there you go. Uh, and it's all in uh, Chinese come English. So, um, um, yes. There you go. So I'm happy with that. Focus, yes, sod. Come on in. Right. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So um, hopefully that's a little bit more efficient, um, especially... Uh, like my solar uh, charger was it was all right done a job done me proud in fact but um i know it struggled in the winter and my next project will be hello my next project will be um to maybe upgrade this natural solar powers but uh, solar powers solar panels and so i've got this sorted so it's a little bit more efficient but um you know upgrade the panels eventually but i'm not too fussed if i don't um at least I've ticked off something. Um, I'm going to go through the, the van. Um, it's past its MOT, I told you. So that's another year on the road. 
and just make sure it's um, you know all up to date and uh, you know it's all t I'm a bit of an OCD freak you know what I mean I've got, I've got to uh, do these things but um, yeah that's one thing uh, I've done right um, I'll leave you there for a bit and uh, if you like the channel if you think I'm a, an entertaining fat man um, um, subscribe you don't have to if you want to uh, it's uh, much appreciated so uh, I'll see you in a bit Tell her.